Many people think that the Chinese in all of this will be great for Korea, Korea, but there are many dark signs they don't know. Hello, my name is Hina, the first speaker of the concept, and we do not agree, agree with the resolution hosting the 2018 Olympics is good for Korea. Now, I'll give my team's first two arguments and meditation. My first argument is that hosting the Olympics will cause massive environmental damage. The 2018 Olympics are going to be devastating for Korean environment. To prepare for the Olympics, you need to build new stadiums and ski slopes. Because Pyeongchang is in the mountain, in order to build these stadiums, you have to destroy the mountain habitats of many plants and animals. To build the stadiums and ski slopes, you have to destroy a 500-year-old sacred rock. Sacred forest of Mount Gyeongram. Already more than 50,000 trees are considered to make space for the games. Given Korea's history of rapid deforestation over the last 50 years, the loss of one few growth forests should be seen as a major loss both to Korea's ecology and as well as its history. My second argument is that hosting the Olympic prize is just too high. Hosting the Olympic Games is a huge event and needs a giant site for an Olympic stadium and other systems, which cost an enormous amount of money. The Sinti Olympics were predicted to cost $25 billion, but the final price ended up being doubled in $50 billion. The problem with money has already started. Korea has already used $18 billion to build necessary stadiums and systems for the Olympics, but the stadiums are not even finished yet. The Olympic researchers predict the cost could be over to $30 billion. This is not a small amount of money. This is three times as amount that Korea spends on education. Instead of raising the money on the stadiums, this money can be used to increase in Korea's <laughs> which provides a much greater benefit to the country. Now, I'll dispute against the home speakers first two arguments. The first argument the pro team was presented was about economic success. My reputation against this is that many times the initial cost is expected for hosting the Olympic is much less than the actual cost. Korea's economy is not as stable as the UK and so it's not as a guarantee that we will gain economic success. In fact, we could lose economic power if we do not do well at hosting the Olympic and we believe this is a risk we should not make. Uh, the second argument was about infrastructure upgrades. Now, I have two reputations against this. My first reputation comes from my first argument. The construction is destroying the environment and hurting Korea's historical culture. We can't guarantee that the new infrastructure will benefit the area of Pyeongchang after the Olympics. My second reputation is that the infrastructure upgrades will be create more traffic congestion and pollution. This problem will create more environmental damage and change how people view Korea. Hosting the Olympic will hurt Korea. They harm Korea's environment and they cost a massive amount of money. Thirty billion dollars is not a small amount of money. People can spend the money on other important systems, not on one event events that last a few days. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. What did you think about it? Comment below and rate this video and tell us your opinions about this topic. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to keep up to date on all future debate related videos. Finally, click that little eye on the top right that will show you a list of suggested videos about debate, which we think you may enjoy as well. From Reading Pioneers Debate, Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.